Hello beautiful people and welcome to another episode of Let Love Lead. Oh, excuse me. Today I want to share a little uh, tool that was gifted to me by the beautiful Linda Pesavento, who happens to also be the same Linda who wrote the foreword in my book. I you know, we all have these people that we reach out to, that we, um, you know, that are our um, our voice of reason, um, the people that we crack stuff open with. Um, we all have that. She's one of those people for me. And I remember calling her one day, and I was I was just feeling, um, you know, re- I was actually feeling really vulnerable about something, and. I phoned her up and we had, as we always do, I don't know, an hour long conversation. And by the end of it, I just felt um, so supported, so seen, so um, acknowledged, so accepted. Um, But it was quite a vulnerable thing that I, I took to her. And at the end of the conversation, she shared this little piece of wisdom with me. And I want to share it all with you today. So she's i was i was thanking her and saying thank you so much you know for for listening to me and you know helping me to see this and step around this and see this you know through another perspective um it, you know it's it, you know i said i find it difficult to be vulnerable sometimes you know i don't know is that you too i think most humans do you know our vulnerability is this thing that we um at some point learnt to to protect which is generally where our ego comes in that's a whole another video but um but I was thanking her because I was saying that um you know this that that I had felt quite vulnerable but I it was so great to be able to share with her what I was experiencing and she said to me um th- three words um wisdom discernment and vulnerability and what she was saying to me is that we we all need to be very use that we need to when it comes to our vulnerability we need to use our wisdom you know our vulnerability and being vulnerable is something that we we need to kind of you know hold gently in our hands and there is you know, the, the world moves in a way now that offers us countless platforms to be able to be vulnerable. But my offering and, and Linda's offering to me on this particular day was we need to use our wisdom so that we can be discerning. What is discernment? Discernment is looking at the, you know, choosing wisely. That's what discernment is. So again, being able to be, use my wisdom to be discerning. So being wise in choosing where I be vulnerable. Now, there is a lot of, um, there's a lot of stuff on social media that says, speak your truth, speak your truth, speak your truth. I'm all for speaking your truth. I really am. But I think that for us, if we're going to speak our truth, we need to be extremely responsible, not just to the outside world, but we need to be responsible to ourselves and our vulnerability and use our wisdom to be discerning in where we be vulnerable. Be, be, use your wisdom to be discerning in who you have, you know, open yourself up and your vulnerability to. Because you want to be choosing people, spaces, community or whatever, wherever you do this, you want to be choosing someone that is going to treat your vulnerability with the respect and the love that it deserves. So that's my little offering for you today. You know, use your wisdom to be discerning with where you share your vulnerability. Choose the people that are going to 
be a space for you and your vulnerability with no point of view. Okay, that's my little offering for today. Okay, have a great day. See you soon.